we're going to show you some pouring of 2200 degrees molten metal. So today we are going to do some casting on some metal items here that we can sell fairly regularly. Now we do a lot here with casting. There's always something going on pretty much every week in the casting field. Now these are actually Sandcast bronze drawer pulls. They're southwestern in design, lovely Native American imagery on them. They've got a spot so you can drill them to whatever drill holes you need in the back as well. And we've got some we're casting outside right now, so we're going to hop outside and show you the pouring process of pouring 2,000 plus degrees bronze molten metal. So we'll be casting some drawer pulls, and these are actually the drawer pulls we're casting. Um, all they got to do is be drilled on there, uh, Native American style. They go on like dressers, cabinets, and things like that. Highly collectible, highly sellable, so uh, interesting items. As you can see, it's pretty darn hot, uh, like over 2,000 degrees. This is going to be cast in a bronze mix. Of course it splattered a bit, but that was my fault. What's with that one? Oh, I just closed that one up so it'd be oh, out of okay, the way. I should have yeah. Yeah, done that to the others. I should have, but I didn't. You can see it in there through the smoke. It is there. We don't know what's there yet, but... Yeah, I hope it came out because it's... Sometimes it's a crapshoot when it sinks in that quickly. Well, it looks like it's a bit pretty... It's tricky to cast sometimes. So far, so good. Yep, that don't mean much. You could have a big shrinkage spot yeah. somewhere in that component. It's still obviously like 1500 degrees more than likely. Oh yeah, sometimes it gets so hot that the uh, sand will just catch like that. Yeah, see the <laughs> fire right off of it? That tells you how hot that is. This sand's supposed to be uh, basically non-combustible, but... This is what's called green sand to foundry sand. You can see the gap block he's got there so that it has time to fill up. And that block is also, is when it cools, it's going to want to shrink, you know, like a candle wax shrinks when it's cooling. It's got a little divot in it, but it should still that's be a common. That's been a common problem I've been having with them on the side, but that's probably just because of the way the metal flows under there. Yeah, but if probably. I just make it too hot, then it might, it's more susceptible to hot tearing. Ah, oh, you should have told me we could have done that. Yeah, 
There you can see the bronze copper color up, right yeah. off of it. It changed when it's hot. It sometimes loses its color and it looks gray. But oh, it looks like it helped me out a bit by breaking itself off. There. Why don't you flip it this way so we can see it a little better? When it's polished up, you'll be able to see the details. Details. Yep. Yep. But that block there, so this is going to cool, and when it cools, it wants to suck in metal. The purpose of this block is to supply it with a continuous flow of metal, so this shrinks and not that. It has a tiny divot in it, but these are supposed to be handcrafted. They're made to look old, vintage, once they've been sitting around. So that's part of the difference each one will be, so no big deal on that. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.